All right, since this lady doesn't have the information we need, we're just going to have to move on. All right. Okay, can't talk to that dude. Hmm. I guess we still have two more people on our um, list, or on our map, so we might as well try and visit those guys. Okay, this dude. Level two, Vados the architect. Okay, yeah, Vados more like more than likely has information. I will get answers. <laughs> oh jeez, he sounds so evil. Oh dear. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, not the right one. Oh jeez, I gotta get destroyed. Where was I? Okay, I sure hope he's weak to light. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That worked out. But he still didn't give us much information. Oh god darn it. Uh, let's see what we have about this guy. An architect and a religious zealot involved with the cathedral repairs two years prior. Okay. He built an underground passage leading to the cathedral's interior to grant his crew free access during the repair. Said passage remains accessible via a small building to the cathedral's east. So he does give you the information, it's just not listed as information gleaned. Mm, odd. Oh. The smaller building east of the cathedral hides a subterranean passage no longer in use. Blessings of the sacred flame unto you, Vados, for this gift. I see, I see. I must say, I did not expect to be heading underground. The path is open, Crick. Path. Which you forcibly opened, despite being a messenger of the gods. Yeah, I can kind of see the contradiction from Crick, but come on, what did you expect? He's part of the Inquisition. And the gods did give their messengers flame to light the way forward. I did as the scriptures bade, Crick. I used the flame vested in me to open the way forward. Forgive us our sins, O oh gods. Yeah. My goodness. Those of your ilk must lead an exhausting life. And how is it that people of your ilk get chosen to serve on the Inquisition? Okay, it looks like Crick doesn't understand what exactly the Inquisition does. The Pontiff chooses us. It's quite simple, really. The sacred flame flickers. This is an ill omen. What? I am overcome with unease. Nevertheless, we press on. I mean, if nothing else clues you in the fact that the cathedral doors locks late at night, yeah, it tells you there's probably something going on. What's this guy do? Hmm. So he's a historian. See, I almost want to interrogate him, but Temenos is weak. I don't think it's a good idea. And I don't think you gain any experience from uh, interrogating these dudes either. Let's see what we get here. Charm rod. That would be beneficial. I can't help but wonder if there are better weapons inside the building. Hmm. What to do? Okay, let's see what he has equipped right now. 
A leather hat. So it's not like he's missing anything per se. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to save my money because I obviously cannot afford some of these. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to hang on to the money. Just going to take a closer look around and make sure I'm not missing any chests with money. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm gonna move on. Okay. So we're in the underground cellar, is that what it says? Hmm, I can go up. Oh, there's a treasure upstairs, so. Probably should go grab that first. Light Soul Stone. Okay. Cool. Okay, going down or left? You know, I'm gonna try and go down. And there is nothing. Ooh, treasure chest. Hmm, now how to reach it? Can't back down. Add Tempo to see your party at night and turn the tides of battle in your favor. Okay, so he also benefits you at night. Temenos can afflict all foes with enfeebling effect at the start of the battle. So basically, having Temenos and uh, Throne at night is a good combo. To work. Alright. I'm gonna staff it up. So sorry. To battle. Hmm. Oh dear. Well done, Tabitha. Okay, I'm gonna have Crick finish off this broken. Very well. I won't back down. That should end it. Oh goodness, what a tantrum that was. Huh. Interesting that Temenos is levels lower than Rick. Oh Crick, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the cellar. Hmm, I see something here too. And we don't. Ah, sneaky way of hiding treasure chests. That's for sure. Okay, Pilgrim Rod is stronger stat wise. Hmm. I suggest you get out of my way. Of course. Snails and snakes. Of course. Let's see if the snake is weak. Yay! Okay. Let's deal with the slug first. It looks like the tougher one. Are you all right, Hmm. Well, for God's sake, I sure hope nothing bad happens to Crick. It feels like any party member you start off with usually don't end up well. Or any, like, basically side character who joins your party at the very beginning. Okay, another healer, or not healer, merchant. Okay, I have five healing grapes, some inspiriting plum, and olive of life. I think that should be good enough. Hmm. I really hesitate to see whether I should buy some of these things, but it might help 
for the eventual boss fight. It's only 200. You know what? I'll buy it because it's only 200. And 400, respectively. Let me make sure I'm not missing any other chests down here. Real quick. You know what? Forget it. If I am, I'm gonna come back. I don't want to waste any of you guys this time. Not a huge deal. Okay, so I think we're in the cathedral now. I just really hope, and this is just pure prediction, I'm guessing someone did something to the bishop. I think, yeah, I think it was the bishop. Uh, darn, I forgot. Pontiff, pontiff. Um, and then we might run in here and then get framed for it. Whatever happened. Let's call it right now. It's shut tight, the main door. Okay, I'm obviously not going to head into the main hall. It's, it has boss fight literally written on it. Hmm. Guess there's not much else to do. Is that an arcane beast? Mm. Oh, I'm glad we brought Crick along. At least if we both survive, he'll be our witness. Could it have shattered the window? Surely not. Stand back, Temenos. I... I will protect you. I appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. Temenos. Here it comes, Crick. To battle, Crick. To battle! Mm, okay. See what you truly are. To work. Take that. Very well. Holy luck. You need the dog. Okay. Stay black. Oh. So this one Felvark has three or at least five shields. Um I don't know what the best strategy to deal with this dude is. I guess for now, I'll just break his shield. To work. I think I'm gonna save Temenos' magic point to cast spells. So I'll just defend. I think I'll just heal for now. Be healed. Oh, his spell heals everyone. Just realized that. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what Craig uh, Crick's ability is. Unleash a moderately powerful sword. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the sacred slash. I'll cleave you in twain. Ooh. Very 
well. Holding on, you make the dark. It should almost be dead by this point, I pray. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Oh, wait. Be healed. Okay, looks like this is the second phase. I've noticed a trend where all the bosses have like two phases. It's agitated. Will you cower behind me yet again, dear Grip? You may as well get behind me if all you have to offer are cruel jokes. Hmm. In the sacred name of the Thunderblade, I will smite this creature. Well now, you may prove reliable yet. In which case, I had better do my part. Very well. Okay, so it looks like Tamino's special ability is starting to unlock. Alright, let's just cast some light on this dude. Okay, looks like it just unlocked. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my boost point yet. Oosh. What the? You can heal? Once the gauge is full, you can unlock Temenos' latent power. Press Y on his turn and you can activate your latent power. You can lower your foe's shield point with any attack regardless of their weaknesses. I mean, it's good if he has a multi-hitting attack. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I don't have anything multi-hitting. I think I'm just going to heal. And stock up stock up my BP for the next round. Alright. Let's do this. Crick is first going to lower his magic defense. And Temenos is going to follow up with some holy light. Holy light. Where was I? Okay, I'm gonna have to use some inspiriting plum. I'll take this. Oh. Guess I didn't need it. Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. Forgive me. Enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. We're too late, but not by much. Hmm. What a horrific accident. Yeah, I, I don't think 
accident is a good way to explain how a beast managed to break into a cathedral and killed only one person. And the odd thing about this um, incident, accident, is that no one outside of the cathedral heard anything. That is actually more disturbing to me. I can't imagine this beast being able to murder someone violently and no one heard the whole commotion. It's odd. An accident. You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? A cathedral window shattered. A massive beast roaming within. The pontiff slain. Temenos. Hmm. Temenos? The truth lies in the flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Given the current scene, I believe this is roughly how things looked before the Pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Now, let us be led to the truth. Hmm. So it looks like if you play as Timinos, you might have like a detective uh, session. So that that's what probably stands out uh, for him, as opposed to some of the other uh, characters. And um, this is just my complete guess, but he's gonna play like part inquisitor, part cleric, part detective. But I kind of wish if they were going that route with Timinos, they should have just made him a, like a detective class. Because I'll be honest, the cleric class, a lot of these classes in Octopath Traveler too has been reused in one. I kind of wish they had changed the class, you know, make something more interesting. Like maybe instead of a dancer, have a singer. And, you know, maybe instead of a warrior, have paladin or something like that, you know, just to differentiate the two a little bit better. And for Temenos, I'd prefer him to be a detective. But anyway, regardless of that, if assuming that this is not an accident and it's premeditated murder, I'm going to go out on a limb and completely guess that this is definitely related to the heretics. Somehow related to them. But we'll see basically who the mastermind is ultimately by the end of this um, story. But anyway, let's see what we have. Lingering scent of incense. Looks like someone burnt incense here. Smells of fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, but especially those of the Varg family. Hmm. Huh. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. It must have been lured to the cathedral. Hmm. Huh. So, for we, we find out that obviously the warg here has been lured in by the smell of incense. But now we also have to think about, you know, assuming that this is intentional murder, how the killer was able to make sure that that warg jumped in at the exact moment the pontiff was alone in here without backup. And how the warg was able to kill him without alerting anyone else. Hmm. Makes me want to think that maybe the killer arranged a meeting with the pontiff here in secret. That's how he's able to make sure no one else is around. Either that or he somehow knows the pontiff will be here alone at this particular time. So, of course I said he, but it could be a woman as well. Obtain shattered cathedral window. Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. 
But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Wow, this is the first time I've heard of windows with that kind of power. I thought they were just stained glass. Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it. As though it landed outside the cathedral. Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. In which case, this was not the beast's doing, but the work of another. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's got a point. Now, now I think about it, and I don't remember what they discussed about the pontiff's body and the wounds on it, but this begs the question that if someone broke through the window from in, within, like, break out, and then move the shards in to create an impression that the beast broke in, that begs the question of whether the pontiff was actually killed by the beast, or the pontiff was killed by someone, and the beast was lured in, so that whoever discovered his body would presume the beast did the killing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate the patience of you guys just sticking along with me, but I'm kind of a fan for mystery, and I, I like to reason things out, see if I can solve this before the end. That's kind of a, a game for me as well, a game within a game. Um, but anyway, moving on, let's examine the last clue. Toppled candlesticks. The four toppled candlesticks. Hmm. These are never seen in the cathedral but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. <sighs> the gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. Hmm. The truth lies in the flame. Oh, Jesus. I feel like every character has like a very specific um, phrase that they keep referring to, and I think Temenos would be something along the lines of the truth lies in the flame. Um, I think Oswald's favorite phrase has got to be a breast, uh, like a fire in his breast. And Throne, darn it, I could have recalled something, but darn it, I, I remember thinking that there was a phrase you keep mentioning, but I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> Well, either way, let's continue. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. Yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. Ah, oh, Temenos. I'll come back. The fragments of the window, you see. If you look closely, they flex of dirt upon them. Which suggests it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this censer, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. Y you mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed his holiness. Okay, so we've established that the beast was the one who killed the pontiff. Okay, I just want to know if like, maybe the pontiff was killed by someone else and the beast was framed. 
but obviously someone lured the beast in with the intent to get the pontiff killed. Hmm, okay. This is no accident, but a murder. I am all but certain. Who, who would do such a thing? Well, based on the whole candle um, situation, it might be someone trying to revive the dark gods and probably somehow connected to the heretics. Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the pontiff was attacked. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. So why were they out tonight and surrounding the altar, no less? The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture, but why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find. Hmm. Hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. Wow, he's placed a lot of faith in Temenos. There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. Hmm. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. I find it absolutely disturbing the way this deputy, Ku I don't even know how to pronounce her name, Kubari, Kubari? whatever her name is, just nonchalantly walked in and is so calm about the situation. Not shocked, not surprised, not angry, but very calmly telling Temenos to end his investigation. If that doesn't scream red flag, I don't know what does. Why are you here? We got word of a beast prowling the area, but I see we're too late. And I see the pontiff's been killed. We will be asking for your statements later. Leave it once, and take nothing with you. Yeah, if, if the whole calm introduction doesn't scream she's related to this somehow, then the telling him to leave and stopping his investigation is pretty evident. Or maybe this is just the um, game trying to throw us a red herring, making us think that this deputy is involved when in fact she's probably doing something behind the scene trying to figure out who the murderer is. Uh, you got a love game for that. The twists and turns. Let us be off. Quick. I have something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Oh? And what might that be? Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock, was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Your Holiness. This cannot be. Hmm. It looks like he was a decent person. According, I mean, based on how many people turn out for his funeral. The sacred flame it 
itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. Hmm. We meet again, fair beauty. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No, not a thing. We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear pontiff would think of your lies. Hmm. She's making it hard to tell whether she's the bad guy or a good guy trying to keep the investigation on the down low to basically not involve innocent people in it. Hard to say at this point. We, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the church's purview. The Pontiff set up the Inquisition so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Oh, so they're sending him out on like a missionary mission? Have you anything useful to say? Or have you simply come to crow at me? Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not, therefore, on you? Oh, darn, he really placed her on the spot here. Like, you you called yourself the Sacred Guard, but you were unable to protect the Pontiff. <laughs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontiff's loyal hound, I see. Hmm. Something in the way she says that tells me she doesn't get along well with the Pontiff. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, quick. Hmm. It sounds almost like these two have a history, but I guess that will unravel itself as we begin our investigation. And the final thing that I'm curious about, because it hasn't been established yet, is why would anyone want to kill the Pontiff? You know, we still haven't established the motive yet. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. We're supposed to be here. Okay, we are. Why did you feel the <coughs> need to provoke her, Dominos? I was merely pointing out the facts. By lying? You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? Well... I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. That is very interesting. Almost suggesting that whoever did this is probably someone... <coughs> Someone everyone recognizes. <clears throat> Which begs the question of how the Sacred Guard found out. Hmm, good point. That's another thing. Interesting. That's another good point. Temenos? Wait. That's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral. Lower your voice, Crick. Presuming that the sacred guard or whoever it is isn't isn't the main culprit, that means whoever alerted the sacred guard is probably related to the death of the pontiff, and they just wanted someone to discover the scene and presume 
The death was an accident. This was a parting gift from the pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh. There's a note between the pages. And soon night shall fall. What does it mean? I've not a clue. But it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the sacred guard. Do you still have need of us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Understood. You'll be informed of the location later. Pack your belongings. Ah, uh, that, uh, that they reassigned him, but does not yet know where he's supposed to go. Almost like feels like they're trying to separate Crick from Timinos. No need of you, Hound. Oh, jeez. Talk about bad blood. Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. It was hardly budding, Temenos. I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Why you were chosen. It was an honor, Crick. What will you do now? I think I shall set off on a journey. Indeed, to find the one who murdered the pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. And well, doubt is what I do. Take care of yourself, Temenos. I must take my leave. First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. The one who was with the pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Hmm. Though I cannot help but wonder. The pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. Hmm. And soon night shall fall. Hmm. I must divine the truth behind those words. Yeah, secrets abound. Oh, and here comes Mint. I heard the news that you're leaving the village. I could have sworn he just announced that he's about to leave. Huh. She catches on really fast. Forgive me for not saying farewell, Mint. This is to be a journey of healing. <laughs> I must mend my broken heart. Yeah, totally. Or so I'd like you to believe. <laughs> it is impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours. But I know you'll conduct yourself well. 
I shall miss your orations of the history, Temenos. Hmm. Farewell. Farewell, Mint. Please, keep in touch. If you'd like, that is. I swear, if I didn't know any better and the fact that they're in some sort of church, almost feels like Mint definitely has a crush of some sort of Temenos. And the air of mystery abounds. Temenos leaves the city determined to get to the bottom of the Pontus murder. And soon, night shall fall. The phrase, found at the scene of the murder, echoes in his head. It is his duty as Inquisitor to, shri to shine the sacred flame's light upon the truth, come what may. Temenos the Cleric, Chapter 1, End. The sacred flame shall light our path. Probably. Man, this this guy's a very cool cleric. <laughs> At least his personality is very funny. Added all the leaves. Okay. So we got all of his items. Uh, so for now, I think I'm going to save right here. And then off screen, I'm probably going to go around the village and see if I can, you know, get information, steal, mug, whatever. All the items from the villagers, uh, you know, just you know your regular loot and sacking of a <laughs> of a uh, innocent village. But uh, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll probably do the same thing at uh, Cold Harbor, and maybe run around the map a little to make sure I'm not missing any other treasure chests uh, from previous areas, because obviously I don't want to run around looking for treasure chests um, in tiny little corners while you guys wait for the next part of our journey. But uh, I'm going to do that behind the scenes, and if I find anything interesting, I'll definitely share it with you guys. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go find a safe spot, and we will um, resume once I've figured out where I want to head next. Or maybe we can decide that right now. Because as far as I'm concerned, now my party composition has one thief, two caster. So I think if anything else, I need a warrior to balance it out, or maybe... Okay, so pretty much most people on the eastern continent has been recruited. So I can choose to head over here to Toto Haha and recruit the hunter. Or head west and maybe get Hikari. I think his name is Hikari. Yeah, his name is Hikari. Okay. Hikari the warrior. I think I'm gonna go. I think you know what I'm gonna go to get Ochet first at Toto Haha, just because she's way closer than Hikari. Uh, and then, yeah, and I guess from there we'll proceed to collect the rest of the guys in the eastern or western continent. All right, so I will save, and we will see you guys next time.